Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Mimachusets. I can't even say that correctly. Mimachusets! There we go. It's the Massachusetts and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one. Uh, we get shards spawned in the middle and uh, we get probably the best matchmaking you could possibly ask for. There's a lot of cruisers, only two destroyers, and uh, only two battleships. So you can't ask for much better matchmaking. So we're going to go ahead and start off by trying to figure out where we should position ourselves. And initially, without knowing where everybody's at, I decide, okay, I'm going to go towards the right to Alpha to help those two cruisers and that destroyer win that side and then come around and flank everybody else. That is the plan. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with my Massachusetts build, I run a full secondary build on this thing. I do not worry about the accuracy because the Massachusetts, surprisingly enough, even without a dispersion build, is pretty freaking accurate, as we're going to showcase in this fight. But uh, the fun thing about this ship, and the thing that makes it a meme, is those American secondaries. It only has 20 secondaries, right? It has 10 127mm guns on either side of the ship, okay? So it's essentially got uh, two-thirds of an Atlanta on either sides of the ship. And the funny thing about that is, they're pretty nasty. Uh, we've got, uh, the range is not completely maxed out on this because we decided instead of adding more range uh, and accuracy to our secondaries, because our secondaries are accurate enough, let's just be real. The American secondaries have a very flat trajectory. Those uh, five inch 38s, very flat trajectory, meaning they hit the target often. Uh, but they have a slower reload than they should, if you ask me. Like, personally, I think they should have a faster reload. Firing uh, a shot every six seconds out of a 127mm gun seems a bit ridiculous, especially when you consider the fact that it's a 5-inch 38, which is the exact same gun as the Atlanta has, and, guess what? The Atlanta reloads in something like 3.8 seconds, or 4 seconds. Like, it's, why is it that the Atlanta gets to reload faster and the American battleships get a six second reload on their secondaries? Riddle me that. But, right off the bat, we have a broadside Colorado, so we're going to give them the front guns. And this is what I'm talking about with the accuracy. Watch this. Like, the accuracy doesn't look that great, but wait for them to hit. Bonk, bonk. There's a Citadel, and we hit three out of six shells. That's half of our shells that hit the target. That's not bad. And, of course, we go to swing our guns around because, I mean, we already hit him once. Took over half his hit points between us and the other uh, cruisers uh, or torpedoes, maybe. I don't know what hit him. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take the rear shot at him and then take the fronts at him again. I don't think the fronts are going to hit him because, obviously, he's getting behind the island. The rears do manage to hit two of the three shells out of the rear. And that's what I'm talking about. These things are accurate. You don't need a full dispersion build on this. That's what I've always tried to tell Peak. Like, Peak has got a, he runs a full dispersion build on the Massachusetts, and you just don't need to. The Massachusetts is plenty accurate enough. However, our destroyer managed to throw himself right into the Atlanta. And then our Albemarle gets himself killed by the Akatsuki. But the Albemarle also managed to kill the Akatsuki. So, trade... Personally, getting the Akatsuki out of here was a huge trade. So, do I want to trade a heavy cruiser for that? Not necessarily, but I'll take it. You know, it is what it is. Um, but we managed to capture the Alpha Cap, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to uh, solidify that this cap is going to be ours. Um, there is a mines over here. He's over behind the backside of the island. I'm about to ping him and tell him to get back. The last thing I want is for this guy to come around the corner get and back. get absolutely blapped by the Colorado 16-inch guns. I can just see it happening in my mind as I ping that guy. So, like, I tell him to get back. I'll handle it. And uh, I have no idea what these guys are actually going to do, but I had a feeling that the Atlanta was going to creep into the base. So I get over here just as I get to the edge of the base. Watch this. As soon as we get into the base, watch the, the thing. It goes from defend to... Wait for it. Hello? I didn't realize it took this long. Contested. Okay. So now I know somebody's in the cap. And I know exactly where he's at. He's right here on the backside of this island. And unfortunately for him, he has no idea what's about to happen. And I am salivating. Like, on part part of me is like, oh my god, I gotta use my secondary. So I hit the booster, I, I hit him with the priorities, and then I fire my guns, and he's angled away from us. 
And then he's dead. <laughs> oh, Atlanta, you poor, poor man. <laughs> Speaking of Atlantas, he had fun. <laughs> he's like, let me do the right thing. I'm going to back into the cap. I'm going to be real sneaky. Holy crap, where did that Massachusetts come from? <laughs> Exactly. And now we know that the Colorado was just there. He was just spotted coming back around the island. So we're going to go ahead, turn in, be bow into this guy. And sure enough, hello, sunshine. We aim high and we managed to hit him and hit him with all six shells, but four of them were overpins. Really? Really? I have doubts. But secondaries doing what the secondaries do. You can see we're already scoring those hits. Uh, unfortunately, we wasted the first reload booster on a dev strike. But, you know, it does happen. And uh, I'm not going to do a very good job of playing to my build. Now, if you guys remember correctly, I run uh, Justinian Lions as a secondary uh, inspiration. You can see I'm trying to put the shot into him. We get the fire on him with the secondaries, and we get him taken out. Now, we have a five bill or five heal build. build. Good God, I can't speak. But I have a five heal build. And during the times that I'm healing, for the entire duration of the healing, I get a 30% buff to the fire chance of all the guns on my ship, including the secondaries. So, that is why I call it the Massachusetts. Because if you get into a brawl with other battleships and you trigger a heal, holy mother of God, watch them burn. <laughs> It's hilarious. Every six seconds, you're firing shells that have something along the lines of a 36% chance to set fires. That is the equivalent of the main gun's chance to set a fire every six seconds. <laughs> and you get 10 of those rounds every six seconds. And they almost all hit. It's hilarious. So, it is not uncommon to set five six fires and i say five or six fires in a in a heal because it's i've had so many times where i've been fighting massachusetts or fighting another massachusetts fighting a bismarck and they have the fight fire with fire perk and i triple fire them with the secondaries they go ahead and damage con that and then they get set on fire once or twice again now here you can see i've already told the guy uh behind me that i plan on going straight to ba bravo to you know secure the cap and this this Cleveland did not see this coming. and But he gets himself stopped just in time to only take two shells here. Had he coasted forward just a little bit further, that man could have been dev, stri dev struck because he was angled slightly. You can see him on the map. He's angled. Like, that is dev strike territory, much like the Atlanta was. Like, you don't play with the Massachusetts and the Alabama's 45 caliber guns. Like, especially in a cruiser. But uh, Cleveland, he he knows that I'm here now, so he goes ahead, he goes full bow in. Now, we're not likely to citadel him. We could, but we are going to get some good damage because every shell we hit him with is going to be full penetrations. Unfortunately, however, we only hit him with one shell that time because reasons. But we also know that there are destroyers here, and he is now spotted. So we're going to bait this guy in to actually getting, uh, you can see, trigger in the secondaries. We've got the heal going. Watch the fires. Immediate fire on the secondaries. And he's going to run, run into the island. We're baiting his torpedoes. We know he wouldn't YOLO in for nothing. So we're baiting his torpedoes. We managed to kill him with the front gun, or yeah, kill him with the front guns. And then we turn all the way back out and watch his torpedoes sail right on past us. So, you gotta love it. You, you gotta play to your strengths and bait people when necessary. And now, I could put this double fire out right now, but I got three more heals. I'm not in any hurry to do so. And I don't want to put the fire out and then get set on fire three times while I'm doing this. So, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go broadside. This Cleveland's actually gonna be shooting AP at my broadside at some point. But you can see, we hit him for 11k right there. We've got our high caliber. Our secondaries, again, doing what they do. Already got another fire. That's four fires, five fires. We've got this man double fired. He's not happy with his, his life choices. And uh, he's got no chance, really. Like, he's going to die, and he knows it. So, he's trying to do as much damage to me as possible. And you can see, he's actually still shooting HE right now. Which, for whatever reason, he is. He could be easily chunking me uh, with AP as I turn to give him full broadside. Uh, we hit him with the rear guns, and then you can see I'm going to try to uh, use the front guns here to uh, shoot him again. And that's one of those times where... And then we use the damage con to put out the fires. Um, 
now that he can't set us on fire again. Now, there is still one hipper left. I am on four kills. I got 112,000 damage in this hipper. I have no idea how much damage he has. The mines behind me is still very healthy. So at this point, we have two caps. He's very healthy. I know that I can easily kill this hipper. And then the hipper starts shooting at me, which, I mean, to each his own. He actually starts shooting with AP and, and scores like 5k damage right out off the bat. And I'm like, all right, I see you. But uh, watch these railguns that we get on this hipper. And uh, sure enough, first shot out, we hit that man for 18,900 damage. Holy crap. You can see I'm looking too. I'm like, I'm checking what my secondaries are. Why? Because I'm, I'm thinking about the video at this point. I'm like, this is a video. I know it's a video. So how can I make this even more funny as a video for you guys? And it's solely... The, the point that I decided to do was to go ahead and use the secondaries. I'm going to continue to shoot him with the main guns to drop his health down just to make sure. But you can see we hit him again for another 11k, 12k damage. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the secondaries doing what they do. I turn to the left because I'm anticipating him turning to the left. And sure enough, he does. And... I'm figuring what we're going to do is we're going to close the distance, let these secondaries do what they do, and then we'll have the reload booster and a heal ready. So that's why I'm letting this fire go. I, I figure we'll have the heal ready, we'll have the reload booster ready, and we'll be able to trigger all of it for an epic secondary kill at the to end the match with a Kraken. This is what's going on in my head. And so a lot of you guys are like, oh, Spartan, some of the decisions you make are, are just weird. I don't know why you do them. This is why I do it, because I like to make fun videos for you guys, and I think that this would be hilarious. So you can see I trigger my heel early like a doofus, because I was expecting this guy to come around the edge. I knew there'd be torpedoes, so you can see I'm turning away. I'm already expecting it. We slow down to make sure we dodge those torpedoes, and then... There's no hipper. So I just wasted my heal and my fire chance opportunity. We do get it back in, in a minute, so we're not too worried there. And we still have our reload booster, and then the hipper backs back around the corner in front of our mines. Now, our mines, very healthy. I'm not too worried about them. And he actually messaged me after the fact. He says, I was trying not to shoot the guy because I wanted you to get the Kraken. So I do appreciate that, but honestly... Krakens don't mean anything to me. Like, I, I really don't care. Does it make a nice little cherry on top? Absolutely. But, honestly, they don't mean anything to me. So, if you're ever in a situation like this, go for it. Get, just kill the guy. Um, but, I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong. This is just, you know, something I'm saying now. But, watch. I don't fire immediately. Why don't I fire? Because I want the secondaries to do it for me. And, they start hitting. We get five hits and no damage on the man. What the heck did we just hit that did no damage? Now, he's, he's trying to torp us, we're slowing down, we're turning in, we know we're taking the torps at this point, so we go ahead and we fire the main guns, hoping to citadel him and kill him, but we get seven overpins and leave him alive. Uh, and then Mines comes in and cleans him up. Uh, and again, he, he even said after the match that he was just waiting for me to get the Kraken. And uh, for whatever reason, my secondaries just decided not to give me that, unfortunately. But 3,000 base XP, 4 kills. Thank you uh, so much, Raptor, for the uh, the assistance there for helping, even though I, I memed it up at the end. But let me know what you guys think of the meme Massachusetts. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.